All right guys, welcome to another YouTube video. Today we're gonna check out to see what the heck happened to the truck while the check engine light was on, right? So we're gonna use Forescan and the OBD2 port ELM327 to figure this out, right? First, check this out so you can see what happened. Right. Okay, so we're coming home from West Texas, going back to Houston uh, on I-10 and you know there's a Bucky, so you gotta stop at a Bucky's every time, right? Anyways, I'm getting back on the freeway and started accelerating and it's a little bit of rain outside right now. But just accelerating and then the check engine light turned on and the truck started kind of like shaking. So I got a check engine light now. So I'm just going to cruise home and uh, we'll see what it is. All right. Turn the truck on. Actually, I'm not gonna turn it on. We're just gonna. We are gonna turn it on. So straighten out the stream. Wheel. All right. Now I'm gonna turn it off and just put it on power. All right. So you can see the check engine light is still on. I'm gonna go ahead and plug the USB. Okay, USB connected, so now we can actually go into Forescan. So open up Forescan. Read this, hit OK. Okay, so now we're in, let's click on Connect. Bottom left, click Connect. All right, make sure your vehicle is on, but not on and then not running, so hit OK. Let everything load. If this is your vehicle, hit Yes. Let it load. All right, it's asking if you have a switch. So I do hit yes. It wants you to move it to MS, so let's switch it and hit okay. Let everything load and we're ready. See on the bottom here it says ready. All right, so now we can go into DTC. Okay, I'm gonna pause here for a second and I kind of blew it up so you can read it better also. Okay, so this P030, that means there's a misfire and that last digit tells you which cylinder it is. So in my case, P0306 means there's a misfire in cylinder six. Okay, so it's easier, easy to point out or figure out which cylinder it is. Now you really have to worry about it if you have a P0300, that means it's just random. You don't know which cylinder it is, but there's a misfire somewhere, right? Now this is directly from the power, power control module. Okay, so there's a couple other codes that are showing up on here, but it looks like just something that's not sinking in right. So there's that one, there's one a little further down, that one. So we're just gonna go ahead and clear all these. Okay, sorry my program here is glitching a little bit. It doesn't give you a clear image, but it's here on the bottom left where you can actually reset them all as a second option here. You'll see it in just a second also. There's a second option there. Okay, so are you sure you want to hit yes? All right, it wants you to switch it to H, so HS, hit OK. Now cycle engine off and then back on. Okay, turned it off, turn it back on. Hit OK. And then switch it back to MS. OK. All right, and that should be it. Everything should be cleared now. No more check engine. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and just go back home and disconnect. All right, so now we're gonna turn the truck on. There it goes, check engine light is off now. Okay, so I'm gonna monitor to see if it turns on again. Um, a one-time thing, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I think it was kind of the weather for that day and then the long drive from West Texas. So hopefully it's just a one-time thing, but I am getting close to time to do a tune-up. So that could be coming up soon. Okay, and just in case you wanna know, uh, the cylinder order on these trucks is always 
front left, like facing the front of the truck, is one, two, three, four, five, six. If it's a V8, it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so it was the one in the very back that was giving me the trouble, that number six in the back. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks again for watching another video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out some of these other videos that I got too, okay?